Right, a quick review on my new Samsung earbuds. Uh, I'm not going to take you through how to pair them with your Samsung device because it's just way too easy. You open it and it shows you on your phone how to, uh, well, it just talks you through, it's just so easy. Um, when I did it, there were two updates that I had to do though. There was a, an update for the actual earbuds and an update for the Samsung Galaxy Wear app that's just at the back there. Once those had been updated, it purred, no problem, and I haven't had a problem since I've had them for a few days now. So if we just look at the Samsung case to start off with, there's a light on the front that shows uh, whether it's charging or not. Uh, on the back, we've got a USB-C connector to charge the case, because obviously the case has got a battery in it, as well as the um, as well as the individual earbuds, and it's got a magnetic catch on it. So when you open it, got the light on there to tell you that it's fully charged, and straight away it comes up on your Galaxy device. Right, that's it. It's already started playing the music. Um, if I open the Galaxy Wearable app, though, so this is this is the app specifically for the buds. Now, if we take if we take them out, I'll go through them because so we've got your right and your left. In the pack, you get additional ear hooks to make them more comfortable for you, and also another two sides of the actual uh, ear canal buds themselves. Now, I've already changed my ear canal bud. Uh, I'm happy with the ear hooks, but um, I've changed the the canal buds themselves. Um, looking at the bud itself, so this bit here is touchable. So in other words, you can tap it to answer a call or end a call to um, activate your voice assistant. Uh, there's a few things that you can do for it, but we'll go through the app with those. Obviously, this is the ear hook that makes it comfortable. And if you have a look on there, it says right on the plastic just there. It also says right on the ear hook itself as well. Uh, a couple of charging points and that's the external mic there. I'll come on to that more in a moment. But if we pop that down, so it knows that they're not being worn at the moment. Um, you can, if you put them down somewhere, go into find my earbuds start it can you hear the tweeting so not the loudest but obviously they're only a tiny little speaker so that's to find your earbud um, you can mute individual ones both muted there or have them going again and then you stop it. If we go back to the app itself, so if we, we just move that over to the center. Right, what we've got here is, tells us the battery life in each individual earbud. Uh, the one thing that it doesn't tell you, which I know that the new um, Apple AirPods 2 tell you, is the charge that's in the actual case, which is a little bit unfortunate, but nevertheless, we come down a bit, you've got um, an equaliser, so it'll increase the bass, it'll make the tone softer, you've got a dynamic range, uh, clear and treble boost, so clear will be for voice and treble boost will be for that particular type of music. You can look to manage your notifications, so if we go into there, these are all the apps that you've got on your phone that you can have it notifying you about, so obviously on this one, if the alarm goes off, if I get an email, an incoming call, messages, etc., etc., they're all set to notify me. Uh, the rest are all turned off, but you can you can play with that to your heart's content. Let's go back and back. You can turn all notifications off if you want. If you look at the touchpad, so your touchpad is is that bit there, and what it's basically saying is. If you tap it once, it will play or pause a track, move it over. 
If you double tap it, it'll play the next track or it'll answer or end a call. If you triple tap it, it'll play the previous track. And then the fourth one is touch and hold. And this is the one that I've got set to open uh, Google. So that's what that one is. You can lock the touchpad so that basically by touching it, nothing happens. So that's that button there, you can lock it. And you can actually set that fourth one up. So the long, the long touch, you can set it up for, you want, for what you want. So the right one I've got set up for the, um, for uh, Google. And the left one for the long tap on that one, it opens up the ambient sound. So if I'm listening to music or something like that, and somebody's trying to get me attention, or I want to hear something that's going on in the background, switch to um, touching the left earbud for uh, a few moments, and it opens up the ambient sound, which is a, a really good little touch. Right. Now it knows that, as I say, it knows that they're not in my ear at the moment, so it's not giving me any ambient sound options. Okay, something that I wanted to discuss about the call quality. So when you when you get anything like this, all you need to do is phone your own mobile. It will go through to your answer phone, and then you can listen to um, what the microphone's like on it, whether it picks your voice up well or whether it's all garbled and muffled. We've all had earbud type things where people say. I can't understand what you're saying. Um, that's not the case of these. These are extremely clear. It does sound like you're on a hands-free phone, but they're extremely clear. Um, there's actually two microphones in each of these. You've got an external mic, which is your general purpose. It just picks your voice up. Uh, but because it picks your voice up and it's external, it'll also pick any ambient noise up around you. So if people are talking or if there's music, if you're in a bar or anything, it'll pick that up and it makes it more difficult for people to understand you at the other end of the phone. What these have is they have an internal mic. Now, I can only presume that that's like a bone conduction mic. And what happens is, because they're a mini computer, they can tell when the ambient noise is too low for you to be clearly heard. So it switches off the external mic, switches this one off and switches to the internal mic, which as I say, is a bone conduction one. Now. I tried this by turning the stereo up full blast in a room uh, and it does definitely change. Um, it, it, it does cut out the vast majority of the background noise and you can still hear your voice, although it's a completely different tonation, purely and simply because it's now working off conduction rather than anything else. But it is a fantastic feature. Right, okay. So something else that we know about this is it's got a wireless charging case. Again, I know that the new Apple AirPods have a wireless charging case, um, but this one comes with it. You don't have to pay any extra for it. So £139, you're getting it all in as opposed to the 199 or whatever the, the Apple Air, uh, or whatever the Apple AirPods are. Um, and you simply, if you've got, I mean, I charge it up on a wireless charging pad, but obviously I can charge it up on this as well. And all you do for that is you go into your settings, wireless power share, turn it on, and then it says you just turn it over and you'll see now that we've got a blue light flashing on the back. You get your ear pods, as long as they're in. I mean, they're charging now in the case because the case is charged up. But if you close that and pop it on there, indicates that it's charging and away you go and if I just pick this up I'm sure you can see see the red light on the front there showing that it's charging so that is a, a good little touch so we just open that again what I'm going to do is turn this back over so that's cancelled the charging I'm going to go back into the where app I'm going to take them out and then I'm going to pop them in. Already connected. So a nice comfy fit. Um, 
my wife's got the AirPods and I do find them comfy as well. However, with these, what you get is they block out the external noise even when nothing's playing, purely simply because the earbud fits inside the canal. So it, um, it, you get the not a noise cancellation effect, you get a noise blocking effect on what's going on around you. So that's a fantastic thing to start off with. What I would say about these is, although there's bass and clarity and basically everything that you want, I don't find them to be the loudest device that I've ever used. Um, which may be a good thing. Uh, at least I'm not going to go deaf by them. Um, however, perhaps I could do with them being a, a little bit louder. Right, so at the moment the music's paused. And it's simply a case of touching the touchpad once and it'll start playing again. And it's playing. If you touch it again, twice... It moves on to the next track. Touch it three times. It moves on to the previous track. And then uh, if you keep your finger on it, it opens up Google. Uh, she's, I'm basically talking to her now. Uh, so that's how easy that is to use. I'm going to just start the music again. Right, if, um, if I was to tap the other one, and keep well not tap it but to keep my finger on it so now what it's done is it's opened up for the ambient sound so i can hear my voice being repeated back to me because basically it's picking up anything that's going on around in the microphones and it's amplifying that and putting it through and it also decreases the music noise when that when that's happening so all in all would i have paid 140 pounds for them uh probably not in all honesty if I was in the market for paying that sort of money, would I do it? Then, yeah, I would. They're very comfy. I know that I can wear them for extended periods. Um, I did pay 160 for my wife's AirPods, and that's only because she uses Apple all the time. It's specific to Apple, and they are easy to use these are just as easy to use uh, i'll do a review at some point against these the airpods and also some cheaper devices that i've got as well uh, i'll probably do that next but all in all i really like the app i really like the earbuds themselves um earbuds sorry i really like the earbuds themselves and um, would i recommend them yeah i do recommend them they're, they're good